This is Sirach 14 and verse 5. He that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? He shall not take pleasure in his goods. Kal halal Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rekwa Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, where I learned this truth from peace and salutations to the brothers on down, teaching and preaching, pushing this gospel. Good news to the four corners of the earth, waking up the hopeful elect of Israel. Greetings also to the few sisters that tune in to these video epistles. We call this lesson Blinded by the Light. See these so-called white people. We're getting straight into it today. In the scriptures, they're known as the Edomites. No such person as white, and for that matter, no such person as black. We, the Hebrew Israelites, are currently being called by the bywords given to us by this oppressive kingdom. Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, as well as the great speckled bird that's who we are scattered to the four corners of the earth that's why this word this truth needs to go to the four corners of the earth to be a witness of condemnation to the two-thirds of those outside of this truth and all the heathen they're learning of their fate the truth so these edomites calling themselves illuminated the illuminated ones but their light is, is darkness we can see they they brought the earth to a standstill with all of their wickedness a body to his knees you claim to be ruling in light you have all the secrets but what are you doing with the knowledge you have you're bringing damnation hell to the the earth let's look at another scripture here just one verse in matthew i think it's matthew 24 and 22 yahweh speaking and except those days should be shortened there should no flesh be saved but for the elect's sake those days shall be shortened so we see this man is a lunatic he's running around the earth certain of these species the most high's creation this word extinct how can a certain fishes and birds and you know four-legged beasts of every different type they're becoming extinct this man is on a mad spree of deforestation he's killing all of the trees he's removed areas of, of vegetation masses across the whole earth and then when there's no way for these creatures or no way for agriculture to thrive then he creates these what they call gmos like plastic food that they create in a lab a science lab then you have their sick practices what we have just referred to as the alphabet agenda and their endless wars one after the other they create the war and you've got this artificial intelligence that they're about to make their move with this particular aspect with this under the skin technology they're wicked drugs kind of phrase here i don't know if i heard it elsewhere drugs thugs and bugs you see that's what their light is creating disharmony and dis-ease kind of madness what type of light creates what is happening in the earth bringing it to its knees. Let's go back to where we started. Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiasticus, Sirach 14. And let's start now at verse 2. Let's listen to some of this. This man and his attitude. 
Blessed is he whose conscience hath not condemned him and who is not fallen from his hope in the Lord, whose name is Yahweh, meaning he is his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. He's our redeemer, our savior, high priest and mediator in the heavens. That's who we worship. Riches are not comely for a niggard. You see? And what should an envious man do with money? These people have all of the earth's resources, and yet it's never enough. They want more as soon as anyone finds anything. They appear out of nowhere and take what they have. They rob. You see, plunder, murder, a rape. That's what this white man is on a spree of doing, as well as destroying the whole earth in rapid time. He that gathered by defrauding his own soul gathereth for others that shall spend his goods riotously. He that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? He shall not take pleasure in his goods. There is none worse than he that envieth himself. How can you envy yourself? What type of man is this? And this is a recompense of his wickedness. See, Malachi 1 and 4 tells us, who is known as the wicked. It's the Edomite wanting you to call him white. He's not white. The, there's no such thing as a white person. His blood showeth forth through his skin. It's a look of leprosy, which is not beautiful. It's hideous to look at. There is none worse than he that envieth himself. And this is a recompense of his wickedness. And if he doeth good, he doeth it unwillingly. And at the last, he will declare his wickedness. There's another scripture that says, he, it's like he can't go through his day or if he does something good, it, it troubles him for the whole night until he rectifies it in his own eyes by doing wickedness. The envious man hath a wicked eye. He turneth away his face and despiseth men. A covetous man's eye is not satisfied, satisfied with his portion. And the iniquity of the wicked dryeth up his soul. It's never enough. He's eating, vomiting, shitting, all at the same time in the same place. Still wants more. A wicked eye envieth his bread. And he is a niggard at his table. He's got no manners. My son, according to their ability, do good to thyself. And give the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai his due offering. We'll hold it there with that one. But we see this man. He's a niggard. See? Let's just look that word up. No good. Don't mean himself, nor the earth, nor anyone any good. Let's go to our next scripture. Isaiah, I think, 29. They started 15 and 16 to begin with. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord, Yahweh. And their works are in the dark. And they say, Who seeth us? And who knoweth us? Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For shall the work say of him that made it, He made me not? Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, He had no understanding? You see? That's what we're faced with. This man... The light of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, instead of leading, shining righteousness, these people, they reject it and they prefer darkness. So they become blinded by the light of Yahweh Shai. That's this truth if you're not careful who you speak to. When you're amongst our people, the Hebrew Israelites, they get so angry with this truth that you can get into a physical altercation. That's happened to me on more than one occasion where you're confronted with someone for daring to tell them that they are Yasharala. That's the Hebrew for Israel. That's what Jacob's name was changed to after his wrestling match, his all night wrestling match with the angel where his hip was put out of the out of joint he was still fighting determined to get that blessing 
after which his name was changed to Israel as Yasharala. What does that mean? He prince power. He prince of God. He's prince with the Almighty. You see. And when people hear this, they just get so angry. And they want you to stop it. Job 13 and 4 about these people who they prefer to listen to, whose lightness is, their light is of darkness. But ye are forges of lies, ye are all physicians of no value. You see? Psalms 40 and 7. Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. And I believe that's repeated in Hebrews 10 and 7. The same. Let's go back to Isaiah for a moment. Isaiah 29 again. Where is that? Isaiah 29. Let's go now from 18. And in that day shall the deaf hear the words of the book, and the eyes of the blind shall see out of obscurity and out of darkness. The meek also shall increase their joy in the Lord, Yahweh Barashem Yahushai, and the poor among men shall rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. For the terrible one is brought to naught. So who are these people? The, the meek is Yasharala, the prince with the power. And who's the terrible one? It's the Edomite heading up these other 16 nations. And the scorner is consumed, and all that what for iniquity are cut off, that make a man an offender for a word, and lay a snare for him that reproveth in the gate, and turn aside the just for a thing of naught. They hate the truth. They hate this light. They're blinded by it. And that also includes a huge percentage of the Hebrew Israelites, two thirds in the land of America and elsewhere, a percentage, no doubt, massive across the rest of the earth. Therefore, verse 22 of Isaiah 29, therefore thus saith the Lord Yahweh who redeemed Abraham concerning the house of Jacob, Jacob shall not now be ashamed, neither shall his face now wax pale. Verse 23, but when he seeth his children, the work of mine hands in the midst of him, they shall sanctify my name. This was his name. We don't know his name? Yes, we know his name. Time to put the foolishness aside. His name is Yahweh. His only begotten son is Yahweh Shai. And sanctify the Holy One of Jacob and shall fear the power of Israel. They also that erred in spirit shall come to understanding, and they that murmured shall learn doctrine. They won't reject the light. They won't want to fight. You see, we come with this truth. It should be a thing of joy, happiness. Your home, you've come to know who you are, who your power is. Why are we in this condition? How is it that someone from another nation can come right in your neighborhood, start up a business, everyone supports that business, and yet there's all these hoops and hurdles and obstacles for you to do the same thing in your own neighborhood that you've lived for generations. Why is that? The answers are in the scriptures. These temporary curses are about to be lifted, but we need to know and accept the situation we find ourselves. So we're next. We want to finish up by going to Second Peter. We don't want to be blinded by the light. Let's just have one verse here. Second Peter 1 verse 19. We have also a more sure word of prophecy. Whereunto ye do well that ye take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place until the day dawn and the day star arise in our hearts. It's Yahweh Shai, this truth, this knowledge, this word. In the beginning was a word. It's Yahweh Shai. 
knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation, for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of Yahweh spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. Now let's finish up with this last one. We can't get through without going to Psalms again. So Psalms 101, and let's just read few verses here starting at five whoso privily slandereth his neighbor him will i cut off him that hath an high look and a proud heart will not i suffer mine eyes shall be upon the faithful of the land that they may dwell with me he that walketh in a perfect way he shall serve me he that worketh deceit shall not dwell within mine house he that telleth lies shall not tarry in my sight I will early destroy all the wicked of the land, and I may cut off all wicked doers from the city of the Lord, whose name is Yahweh. It's always on the sun, Yahweh Shai. We won't stop saying it. That's his name. We believe this by faith. We understand as Ephesians 2 and 8. Faith is a gift given from on high. Not everyone has been given this gift. And so that's why when they hear this word of truth, they are blinded by the truth. You see, instead of being activated and alerted, tell me more about this. That should be the response of the Hebrew Israelite. But no, they've been blocked. So they can't accept it and become blinded by this truth, this doctrine. So there we have it. This man is, this man, the wicked, is about to come down with great wrath. And so those who are blinded, no doubt, will accept wholeheartedly what is coming. So let's wrap up the lesson there. You've been listening to blinded by the light. Shalom until the next one.